Hello everyone out there, I am Winter Grape. I am recording today a short video uh, about explaining a few things about data packs. This, this is a small series I'm going to be doing where I explain how to use data packs and I showcase the data packs I am working with uh, currently. So what is a data pack? A data pack is a, a, is a file a file containing a series of commands that will do something in your world. Uh, so for now, uh, I'm going to tell you where to get them. So uh, this video is in a weird layout because I'm recording my whole desktop. The reason for that is because I'm going to show you stuff that is outside the game. For example, uh, where to get data packs. I recommend uh, looking for them in CurseForge, but you can always go to just the regular old Google and search for any um, download data packs. Minecraft and search whatever data pack you you would like to to download or maybe you already know about uh about uh some of them for example if i go just to my projects i'm go i can show you uh some of the projects i have let's see we are coming here and i have a few of them uh, uh, that are data packs, for example, vanilla seasons. Uh, when you download the data pack, you get a zip file and that zip file, you have to install it in your wall or server. So where is that? If we go to the game, the easiest way to get uh, to the folder you need to access is to go to the options menu and go to the resource packs uh, and section uh, you have to have in mind that a resource, a resource pack is not a data pack. But if you click on this, on this button here, open resource pack folder, you're going to go to the folder where your resource packs are installed. Uh, you just have to go one folder up and then select the saves, uh, the saves folder of your uh, game. Then you will see all the saves you have there. For example, this is the world we are currently in. If you go inside that save folder, there's a folder named data packs. This is where the data packs need to be stored. If I double click here, you'll see I already have one data pack, but we can add more. I'm going to take some data packs I have here, for example, Pokeheads, um, I don't have a zip file. I can create it, but uh, let, let's just create a zip file from this. You can get it from anywhere. Uh, let's add it to an archive, put the zip. There we go. I copy the zip file and I put it here. Then we go back to our world and you can type slash reload. Then the data pack will be installed. You can see I got a message uh, that the, the new data pack I installed is now running. Something important you have to consider is that in order to use data packs, uh, you have to have commands enabled in your world. For example, let's go back to the title screen and create a new single player world uh, that is going to be called data pack world. Uh, in the create, no, I didn't click that. We're going to create a new world and name it uh, whatever you want to name it, I'm going to name it data pack world. And in the more options, you have to choose allow sheets on. This is to allow commands on, like uh, game mode or function or whatever. If you don't have allowed commands in the worlds, most most of the commands in the data, data pack may not run. So uh, with that, we click on done and we create the world. So the world is creating now. And there we go. This world is newly created. Uh, I, uh, it's command enabled and all that. So if I go to the directories, I'm going to copy these two data packs. I'm going to go to the saves directory of the instance I'm playing. Here's the data pack world we just created. I'm going to go in there, so go to the data packs folder and paste those two zip files. Then I'm going to go back to my game at, and type slash reload. 
and the data packs are going to be reloaded <laughs> and we got like a uh two okay that that book wasn't a book it was like a bug maybe we got a book from one of the data packs we installed which is the uhc mode uh data pack so i can right click the book and i can uh start playing with it i'm going to go to uhc and there we go I am now in UHC mode. Uh, I'm going to showcase this data pack in a later uh, video, but um, this is it for now. These videos are intended to be published in the CurseForge uh, pages of the data packs uh, I'm going to be published. Oh, what is that? Okay, let's not get distracted. So that is it for, for, for that is it uh, for now, and. Um, I hope to see you on an upcoming delivery of this series. Thank you everyone. May you all be well.